Day 16 of solving math problems in C until NVIDIA hires me. We're told that D of N is defined as the sum of the proper divisors of N. And if D of A is equal to B and D of B is equal to A where A does not equal B, then A and B are an amicable pair and each of A and B are called amicable numbers. For example, D of 220 is equal to 284 and D of 284 is equal to 220. So 284 and 220 are an amicable pair and both are an amicable number. And we have to find the sum of all the amicable numbers under 10,000. So to solve this problem, we'll first be looping through every number between 2 up to 10,000 exclusively. And for each number i, we're going to get the sum of its divisors. Say for example, i is equal to 220. We'll calculate the sum of the divisors of 220, which is equal to 284. And then we'll calculate the sum of the divisors of 284, which is equal to 220. And if the sum of the divisors of the sum of the divisors of i is equal to i itself, so in this case, 220 is equal to 220, then we'll add i and the sum of the divisors of i to our sum. Then we'll have an array called c to track the amicable numbers that that we've already added to our sum because say we calculated 220 and 284 to be amicable numbers and we added it to our sum when i reaches 284 we don't want to recalculate and add them to our sum again so we have to cross out 284 and 220 as amicable numbers that we've already computed with that in mind let's get to coding in a new c file i'll first include the standard io library next i'll include the standard lib lastly i'll define n to be 10,000. now i'll create a function called sum of divs that takes an integer x and create a variable called sum and set equal to one since we're working with proper Proper divisors, a number itself is not considered a proper divisor. So every number is guaranteed to have one as a proper divisor, so we can just start our sum at one. Now we need to check every number starting at two up to the square root of x to see if that number is a divisor of x. So we'll say four in i is equal to two, i times i is smaller than or equal to x, i plus plus. And we'll check if x mod i is equal to zero. Then we'll say sum plus equals i. Then we'll check if i is not the square root of x. And we'll also add x divided by i to our sum. And lastly, we can return the sum. Now in our main method, we'll need another sum variable and set it equal to zero. Then we'll say int pointer c is equal to c alloc and pass n and size of int as arguments. And we'll cast this to an int pointer. And this code is initializing an integer array of size 10,000 in the heap and returning us a pointer to the first element in that array. And c alloc just initializes every element in that array to zero. Now we'll say for int i is equal to two, i is smaller than n, i plus plus. And we'll check if we've already seen this number, then we'll continue to the next number. Otherwise, we'll say int d1 is equal to sum of divs of i. Then we'll check if d1 is smaller than n and d1 does not equal i, since an amicable pair cannot be made of the same number. Then we'll say int d2 is equal to sum of divs of d1. And we'll check if d2 is equal to i. Then we'll say sum plus equals d1 plus i. And then we'll say c of i is equal to 1 and c of d1 is equal to 1 as well. Lastly, we'll print out our solution and we'll compile and run our file. And we get 31,626. And our answer was correct, guys. See you in day 17.